We suck it up. Blech. Then we cut it out. And then we uh, snatch it up. Blech. And then we slap this stuff on. And then we gel it up. And then we give it a little massage. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand Games. I'm your host, Gaming J. And today we're hopping into a Nintendo DS game called Trauma Center Under the Knife. Now, this is a medical simulator surgery game which takes place in the distant future year of 2018, where technology has cured diabetes, AIDS, and cancer. And thank God, guys, right? Because wasn't it, wasn't it terrible when those things were actually a thing? <laughs> you know, the more we get into the 2000s, I think the better I understand why old games would frequently set uh, future settings in the year 20XX, you know, they wouldn't commit to a specific year. Um, it kind of actually makes sense uh, when you think about it, because like, you know, th they way overestimated what we were going to have done by the year 2018. Um, but anyway, that's a whole other story. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started here. Now, um, this game uses the Nintendo DS's touch interface, so I don't need to use the buttons at all. Um, let's actually follow the story in this game a little bit. So this is Hope Hospital, located in the city of Angles Bays. It's sort of like Los Angeles, but they're not fully committing to the idea that it's Los Angeles. Since its inception, Hope has continually served the community. One of the young doctors here is still in need of guidance. I guess that's going to be us, guys. Um, I mean, we're, we're semi-medical experts. I think we can agree. We've played enough video games that uh, we qualify as, you know, doctors by a loose definition, at least. But because of his desires to help people, he strives to improve. Dr. Derek Stiles will soon realize his full potential. All right. I guess we're going to be Dr. Derek Stiles. He's one doctor with style, if you know what I mean. So we're going to go ahead and save our game here, because why not? We don't want to. We don't want to lose all the good progress that uh, we have accumulated so far. Chapter one, Doctor Styles. Let's see what kind of uh, life this guy has going on for him here. The standard procedure. You know, I would hope by the time a doctor is considered a surgeon, he doesn't need a tutorial to guide him. I mean, I'm, I'm, uh, you know, suspending disbelief because it's a video game. But come on, a doctor should not need this uh, tutorial. So, Hope Hospital consultation room. We transported the patient to the pre-op. What patient? What's happening? Who are you? Mary Fulton, age 39, uh, hospital's veteran surgical assistant. Oh, she actually told me who she was. She's kind and well-liked, but t tends to ramble too much. Oh, uh, we know that, don't we, guys? That's uh, basically, that describes every single NPC in every video game ever created. Likes to ramble could be in their likes and dislikes. Injury on his forearm, he's still uh, fully conscious. Blood test results should be back in the lab any minute. Who is this jerk? It looks worse than it is. He's not in any real danger. I guess he got lucky, huh? Not yet. The real luck is getting operated on by Dr. Derek Stiles. Sounds like almost like he could be a model. He's like a doctor by day and like a male model by night. By night. Anyway, head of the department, blah, blah, blah. Hey, guess what? You all like to talk quite a bit. I don't care who any of you are. Take me to the surgery, good sirs. <laughs> Tapping the screen repeatedly on the DS is the equivalent of just holding B when you're playing an NES game and the NPCs start going on too long. I have a policy with NPCs that if you are going to get to the point, I will listen to you. But when you start rattling on and on and on, my philosophy is, meh, I'll figure it out. You know what? <laughs> Close the dialogue. I I'm going to figure out what you wanted me to do. So look, we can just read for ourselves here. Look at this. Lacerations in foreign, foreign objects in the upper right, brachium, whatever that is, requires removal of the foreign objects, and suturing. Guess what, guys? We're all over this. She's just reiterating what the report says. The report says it in two sentences. Why do you guys need ten? I'm just saying, brevity. The man's dying on the surgical table, and you guys are, like, busy talking to me. Let's okay. Begin. So, we should start with those lacerations. Guess what? I agree with you. Select the needle icon to suture his wounds. Okay, here we go, guys. Do you believe in my medical prowess? Because here's all you have to do in this game is that. It was kind of a sloppy work, but it's considered okay. Okay enough for this guy, anyway. He didn't pay for the premium uh, insurance gold package. Kaboom! 
We sutured the crap out of those wounds, and now they've just disappeared. It is the year 2018 where we've cured AIDS, so uh, sewing people up is kind of child's play. Select the forceps, we need to extract the glass. All right, so we got a bit of glass sticking out of this guy's arm right here. So let's go ahead and grab this. Um, grab it, and oh! Oh, I think we might have jabbed the glass more into his arm, okay. Easy, oh, oh, okay, hold on. Grabbing it, pulling it out. Okay, we got it, and into the pan. Easy, good job, now extract the other one. All right, we got this. Oh, oh! <laughs> I yanked it out and jabbed it right back into his arm. I am not a doctor that you would want to have, let me tell you that. I'm like, I'm angry about it. I'm like, you get glass stuck in your arm? Well, take a bit more glass. Um, so, yeah, don't don't call for me by name if you ever end up in the ER. Um, they probably won't know who you're talking about anyway because I'm not a real doctor. So we need to take care of those smaller wounds now. I couldn't agree more with you. Um, I think she was a doctor, not a nurse. I was about to call her a nurse, but she's earned the respect of being a doctor. Ooh, green slime. Seemed to work miracles, though. That's good. It looks like you're starting to get the hang of it. Again, I am a licensed doctor. I should hope there's nothing to get a hang of. Ooh, she likes that. Look at her. She's giving us... I, I think we might have a date after work, guys. She is... She's digging the, the stuff I'm laying down. Uh, medicine has come a long way. This gel cures small cuts instantly. Oh, instant. Uh, curious. In the past, cure-all ointments were just gimmicks and scams. Ain't that the truth. But somebody finally created a real one. I bet they're a billionaire by now. Oops, I shouldn't be talking so much. Let's continue. Yeah, shut, shut up. All right. So what do we have to do now? So some glass shards are embedded in the patient's arm as well. Really? Looks pretty clear to me. By the way, what was this guy doing? Did he, like, punch his way through a window? Why? Why is there all this glass in his arms? We need to extract those and make an incision in the upper, oh god, epithelium. I think I said that right. Don't forget to disinfect the area beforehand to use antibiotic gel. Don't tell me what to do. I'll do things in my own good time, but I, I will use the gel, not because you told me to. Now we'll make an incision. Now right, let's cut this, cut this, <laughs> cut this bastard up. So there we go. Oh! <laughs> Don't rush. Being accurate is far more important than being quick. I mean, we can't just carve this guy up like a Christmas ham. Slow down, careful, and be precise. Oh, fine. Everyone's so picky with their surgery. It's like nobody likes to be cut open by, like, a cowboy who's just flying by the seat of his pants with no legitimate medical training. Everyone wants a real doctor these days. Well, you get what you pay for, people. This is serious. We can't let them get infected. Yeah, look at all these little bits of glass just hiding under his skin. It's weird. How did you get glass under your skin without cuts? How did we have to cut you open to find the glass? It makes no sense. Um, using the same procedure as before. All right, so we'll just yank these things out one at a time. Look how easy this is. I'm a pro now. I've done like four surgeries. They call me, I don't know, the captain. Suture the wounds in the same way you have before. Okay. Uh, make sure the stitches aren't too wide or too narrow. Okay. So just go like this. Take my time, guys. Try not to rush this because a man's life is on the line. There we go. We stitched him up like he's Frankenstein. We're good, just about done, but you shouldn't relax yet. Oh, believe me, this is anything but relaxing. Disinfect the sutured area with antibiotic gel. You guys use a lot of antibiotic gel. Is that enough? You want more? Okay, now he's okay. Was the patient telling you it's enough, or do you just know? The fixing tape icon is in the bottom right corner. Okay, bandage the entire length of the incision. <laughs> all right, that's all we need to do. Go ahead. Stop calling me, by the way. Just, just tell me. Don't. Am I on like a phone call at the moment? Make sure you review what we went over today. Oh, I will. I'll remember this to my dying day. Operation successful. When they tell you exactly what to do, it's hard to screw up an operation. It's like do this, do this, try again, go here. It's like amazing, you did it. He followed basic instructions. <laughs> Got it, but he earned a C. Oh man, it's like that uh, old joke. Like, what do you call the person who came in last uh, in their year at medical school? And the the answer is doctor, right? Like, even the doctors who barely become doctors are doctors. So, like, not every doctor is super competent. Anyway, um, I do. By the way, don't don't let my jokes here dissuade you. If you get sick, you should definitely be going to the doctors. <laughs> don't. Uh, <laughs> 
I'm not a proponent of like alternative medicine or anything like that, guys. Like for for God's sake, go to where science has figured out how to cure you. Don't be fools about it. Anyway, um, see, you're catching on. That wasn't so hard, was it? It certainly wasn't. I couldn't have done it without my lovely ass assistant. Wait, is that me? Is that Dr. Styles? I definitely see improvement, but flirting isn't everything. Ooh, we got a date tonight. We got, you know what would be awesome? If this was like a dual uh, surgery game slash dating simulator. Let me tell you, that, that's a game that needs to exist right now. I mean, this feels like one of those Japanese dating simulators with like the characters and stuff talking to us. And we'll go ahead and save our game because we want to save that awesome performance there. Our C plus performance. Yes, I know they only gave us a C, but I'm interpreting it as a C plus because most people who get C's aren't as good as us guys. Judging by the MRI, the tumor is isolated in his stomach. Blech. What was he eating? It's benign, but you should be prepared for anything. What? Like we're going to find a monster in there? Any questions? Dr. Styles? What are you doing later? Huh? Oh? Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks. Anyway, okay, whatever. Are you even listening? Boy, she has she had wild mood swings. <laughs> Jeez. All right. Um this game kind of reminds me, by the way, of like, almost like a Flash game. So um, this totally is a game that could exist on like tablets, you know? Like I remember Nintendo has been talking for a while, like trying to kind of get into the mobile marketing or the mobile gaming business. And they had like Mario Run that didn't really do so well because their pricing scheme was kind of like ridiculous for that game. But um, you need to shape up. This is real life. Oh, we're getting, we're getting chewed out by our boss here, guys. You've been here three years, Derek. We shouldn't still be babysitting. I agree. What's wrong with my character? But anyway, Nintendo's been trying to break into the mobile gaming industry for a while. I feel like this is a game that, like, easily doesn't have to exist on a console. Like, it's literally all touchscreen. This could just be one giant tablet screen, and you could just be playing the game by touching stuff. You know, like, it doesn't have to be a, a console game, so... You know, Nintendo, maybe, like, Mario 1 was a good attempt, but, like, it just didn't, it, it, I don't know, it's just not a great Mario game. Uh, but it, it was an interesting attempt, at least. I mean, you can't fault Nintendo for trying something different. But I feel like this is the kind of game that should be on smartphones and tablets. And, in fact, okay, I don't know, I haven't looked this up, but is there a, a, a version of Trauma Center that is on smartphones that you could get? Because this would be, you know, I don't often play touchscreen games, I just don't find them as, like, interesting or fun as, like, actual games where you hold a physical controller. Uh, but, you know, this game did very well on the DS, and it was just a, a touchscreen game, essentially. This is the kind of game that I could see being doing very well on, like, a tablet or, uh, or uh, you know, phone. So, yeah. This and, like, the Telltale games. The Telltale Adventure games would make really great touchscreen games. I know those are on, uh, like, Android and iOS and stuff, but anyway... Uh, in tests from two years ago, it was small and benign. Oh, they're still going on about this tumor. Hey, wait, let's just read it here. Tumor confirmed at the surface of the stomach. It should be removed before it becomes malignant. Like, just to the point. Exactly to the point. We don't need to hear all this stuff about stuff. He's yelling at us. <laughs> Understood! I had, like, my hand pointed out. Okay. Um, oh, wait, you know what? Oh, I was going to say, if they don't tell me what to do, I might not know what to do. You'll need to open up his abdomen. Uh, you've done this before, so remember to stay calm. Uh, let's begin. Disinfect the area and make the incision. As long as you tell me what to do, this is not going to be that hard. And okay, now we go to the incision. They want us to go pretty precisely. So I'll do that. All right. In there. Oh, gross. Ugh. It's gross to think of all the stuff that's inside all of us right now. Like, we all have, like weird pulsating organs inside us that if you like cut them out and threw them on a table people would be like whoa that's gross also that would be nightmarish because you will have just killed someone to do that but there's all this like pulsating organic machinery in us and it's it's gross touch the bottle then slide the stopper upward to fill it okay um there we go we have a full syringe next touch any part of the infected area and keep steady okay blah <laughs> Vitals are stabilized. Now we can begin. At first glance, it looks like nothing is wrong. Do you, are you guys afraid of needles, by the way? Um, I used to be afraid of needles when I was a kid. But, like, as you get older, you have to go in for, like, blood tests and stuff periodically and, like, you know, get your flu shot. And I've had so many needles over the years that, like, nowadays, I still don't like them. But, like, 
I don't know, I just, you just suck it up and do it. You like sit down, close your eyes. It, it's more awkward. I hate the feeling of like a needle being in your skin. That's the thing that I hate the most. It's so off-putting. We're just killing time here right now, but uh, I'm not worried about it because I'm a star doctor. I'll tell you guys about my medical feels, uh, fears and feels. But yeah, having a needle in your body, ugh, it's just like you just want to yank it out. But it's like, it's just uncomfortable. You think about something else and before you know it, it's over. Um, but I used to like legit be afraid of needles as a child. I think it's a common fear. Anyway, try it. When you find an affected area, there will be a shadow. Okay. So. Oh, there's a shadow. I saw it right here. Uh, oh, almost. I lost it because the ultrasound was too far away. If you scan directly over the tumor, it should be visible for a while. Okay. Uh, expert doctors can perform this operation without a visual aid, but you should confirm the shadow before proceeding. Okay. I think it's like right there. Boom. There's the tumor. Incise down the center of the shadow quickly. Uh, it will disappear over time, but just stay calm and start again. Okay. So you do this. Um, and you do this. And you go whoop. Like that. Will disappear, just stay calm. Wait, what? Down the center of the shadow. There we go. Blah! Oh, it's a, that's what a tumor looks like, guys. It's pretty big. That's what she said. Hey, oh, looks like we didn't, <laughs> we did this just in time. Uh, as Dr. Castle explained, we should not be flirting with her while a man is on the table, potentially fighting for his life. His heartbeat is at 61 beats. I don't know if that's good or bad, but. As this number counts down to zero, I'm sure he's about to die. Uh, we'll be using the Powell procedure. Tell me more. Uh, first, we'll drain. Ugh. This medical stuff is really gross. Ugh. Now slide the tube in an upward motion. All right. We sucked a bunch of stuff out. Uh, draining the cytoplasm. Ugh. Bodies are so gross. The cytoplasm will continue to ooze out if we don't do anything. Oh, God. Excise it with the scalpel before that happens. All right. I'm just cutting around this. Blah. Good job. Excise the tumor. Now just extract it. I'm good at that. There we go. We'll send that off for DNA testing. See if it is of uh, terrestrial origin or maybe if it has alien DNA in it. We're not sure at this stage. Anything could be possible. Also, Bigfoot DNA. Um, you're doing well so far. Moving the tumor is only the beginning. Let's get in there. I really want to get in here and explore. Let's do some exploratory surgery. Some unnecessary surgery here. You need to apply a synthetic membrane to stop the bleeding. All right, give me a membrane. Grab a membrane with the forceps. Huh. Okay. And we just do it like that, right? There we go. Now let's affix the synthetic membrane with gel. Antibiotics. It's always with the gel, guys. It's always the first thing they want. That's enough gel. The membrane is beginning to melt the tissue. Man, we're turning this person into a cyborg. They're going to have artificial life in them. It's made of protein, so there's no chance it will be rejected. Hmm, just like the chicken sandwich I had for lunch. Make sure you rub all four corners of the membrane. Okay. Let's use our hand. Gently massage that membrane in there. Now finish the operation by suturing the incision. This part we're good at. We don't even have to go slow. Boom. Okay, cool. That was a cool incision. Oh, yeah. And, and the gel and the band-aid. Oh, wait. We might not have put enough gel on there. Whatever. <laughs> He's fine. I love a mild infection. It's, it ha it's good for the immune system to once in a while be challenged. We don't want to... Um, you know, baby our patients. We want them to like know that it's gonna, they're gonna be fighting for our life under our care, but they're, if they come out at all, they'll be stronger people for it. So we're still ranked as a rookie doctor. Been doing this for three years. Still considered a rookie. That is not a good sign. Uh, it seems you value accuracy over speed. <laughs> I also value talking to people on YouTube over speed. This, this may surprise you, but I'm not just a doctor. I'm also broadcasting this to the internet, so. Just remember that the patient's safety always comes first. Psh, whatever. You're getting better every day. Keep up the good work. How do I get a date with you? That is that is my primary, my chief concern, one would say. My chief medical concern is uh, an anatomy lesson with my nurse. Um, I'm a, I'm a terrible horn dog of a doctor. 
I mean, I should be sued for malpractice and thrown out. I have no no reasonable reason to still be a doctor. I mean, she she carries everything. I, I, I may be the hands to do the cutting, but she's the one who tells me what to do. I'd be totally lost if it wasn't for her. Since my... Wait, wait she, uh, she has a husband? Oh, okay. I, I gotta stop hitting on you. I, I apologize. I thought, you, you know, you were flirting with me. I was flirting with you. I thought we had a thing going. It might lead somewhere, but... Um, you know, I guess never say never, but... Uh, I'll be leaving Hope Hospital effective immediately. Well, it's been nice. Um, it's probably for the best. I should not have been hitting on you. Really going to miss this place and all of you. But I promise to continue my work as a nurse wherever life takes me. You all taught me that helping patients is its own reward. Yes, sure. Good. Off to the new job. Uh, Derek's the only reason I'm a little hesitant to leave. I even spoke with my husband about it. I told him there was a kid here that depends on me. He asked me how long I've been working at a pediatrician's office. Ha ha. Uh, I'm not that bad. Okay, so not only is she not interested in me, but she's like outright mocking me. So I don't think we had a shot in hell with her, guys. But that's okay. Um, <laughs> oh, well. Uh, this game, you know what it also kind of reminds me of? It kind of reminds me of that board game, Operation. Do you guys remember that? It's like a kid's board game where you have to, like, uh, reach in with, like, toy, uh, uh, what do you call them? Not biceps. Oh, my God, forceps. Why was I thinking biceps? That's muscles. Anyway, you reach in with toy forceps, and you pull out little plastic pieces from this guy who's, like, having surgery, like the funny bone and stuff. And there's, like, a very narrow sort of space for you to reach in with your forceps. And if you touch the side of the sort of space with the forceps, it buzzes, and then you lose your turn. So it's basically about having steady hands. So it's actually, like, gameplay-wise, it's not that similar to this game. But it is similar sort of like the medical simulation. This kind of feels like a big evolution of Operation. Because Operation is, like, the bare minimum of a game you could consider to be about medical stuff. It's all about the forceps. Whereas this, it's like, it has multiple... Um, sort of aspects to it. It makes it far more interesting, actually. But yeah, I, I never had operation as a kid myself. Oh, we multiple tumors. This guy's riddled with tumors. They may lead to a loss of stamina, so immediate removal is necessary. Good old Neil Spence. Don't worry, sir. You're in good hands. I have lost my nurse, so I do kind of not know. Oh no, I haven't yet. One more. One once more into the surgery room, nurse. Um, that's okay. Wake up, Doctor Styles. There's only one person you should be thinking about during an operation, and that's the patient. Jeez, she's, uh, she's a bit of a task ma master. I, I won't be sad to see her go. But yeah, I never had operations as a kid. I had, you know what I had uh, was Hungry Hungry Hippos. I remember that game. You just had like a bunch of marbles and a bunch of hippos, and you just like frantically slammed the hippos to try and eat as many marbles as you could. Now that was actually kind of a fun game. Hungry Hungry Hippos. I mean, it was fun for like a few minutes. I, I don't know how, as kids, we stayed entertained. Like, I honestly don't know. Uh, I'm just, I don't know what we're supposed to inject, but I'm just gonna inject everything here. So we're gonna inject green and blue into this guy. I think we're only supposed to be injecting blue. Miss, miss. Okay, here we go. Hold on. Do it. There we go. It's reacting normally. Now inject the other. What did we inject? Okay, I don't even know what the green or the blue is. Here, there we go. Boom. The swelling's gone down. Let's move on to the tumors. Uh, three tumors have been identified in the patient's pancreas. Perform ultrasound and carefully locate them. Okay. There's one. Okay, so then we go to this. And we go like that. And then we suck the crap out. Oh wait, what is that, a laser? Oh, we we don't want to burn them with a laser. This is what we want. They're giving me access to medical instruments that uh, I am not ready to be using. They should not just, you know what? Pro tip, don't give Gaming J access to a laser when your life is in danger because he may just want to have some fun with that. Oh, I guess I should uh, put this thing on. Give it a nice little massage. Oh, and we put the gel on. Yeah, we do all this stuff. Give it a nice, nice once over. There we go. That That's the Gaming J treatment right there. Okay, there's another one. Yo! Slice into him like he's a Christmas ham. 
Uh, what do we do? We gel... No, wait. We suck it up. Blech. Then we cut it out. And then we uh, snatch it up. Blech. And then we slap this stuff on. And then we gel it up. And then we give it a little massage. There we go. That was a nice shiatsu massage. Oh, there's one. We'll slice you up too. I can't believe that worked. That was a that was like a samurai doctor move. Here, let's see if we can do this. Works. I don't know. I'll take it. I'm getting I'm getting really adventurous with the uh, with the uh, forceps. They're actually really fun to play around with. A nice little massage. Ah, ah, that was a Swedish massage on that one. That takes care of the tumors we found in our test. Of course it does. You're really improving. Can you tell? I can. Can you? This guy only has 28 beats. Is that good or bad? You seem really focused today. I guess my work is done. Okay. Is she just leaving? Perfect work, Dr. Styles. Let's close up the incision. Of course. <laughs> That's my uh, my way to do it, man. And you just do this. And then you... Uh, then you bandage. So we totally did not... Uh, we didn't give enough gel to the last guy because he was there were still puffs of blood coming out of his wound. But whatever. Let's get an A. This is A for effort. Effort is spelled A-F-F-O-R-T. Not an A for spelling, but for effort. Come on. No special bonus. Rank. C. What do you have to do in this hospital to get better? I thought it was going pretty fast. I was showboating a bit. I, I won't deny it. You did a great job, Derek. I have nothing to worry about. No, you don't. I can tell that you'll make an excellent surgeon. Please continue using abilities to help people of Angles Bays. Los Angeles. Okay, I will. You know what? Because you asked me to, I will. Now, apparently, I, I, I thought we might have reached this already. I didn't want to spoil the surprise, but um, apparently... Uh, this game is not all about technology and science. Your character, Derek Stiles here, is the descendant of a Greek god of medicine. Yes, I'm not making this up. This sounds ridiculous. And he has strange magical powers. He has the power at one point in the surgery to, like, slow down a patient's uh, decline. And so you can kind of go into, like, bullet time. He is the medical equivalent of bullet time. Which is pretty cool because I have long said that the medical community is really far behind in its uh, study of the, the mystical arts. They've got the science stuff down, but, you know, the Greek god division is just, you know, light years behind the rest. So they really need to amp up their research into that. So finally a game is bringing it up so that maybe it can reach the public's consciousness and we can put more money into reading ancient Greek texts in hopes of developing better doctors. But, um, yeah, so this dude here... Descended from a Greek god, believe it or not. Um, and you get magical powers in this game. So in case you were worried this game was like a little too dry and medical, you know. A little too much like the Nintendo equivalent of uh, Grey's Anatomy. Whoa, he's getting pissed off. What? I wasn't crying. She caught him watching The Notebook. I'm just teasing, Derek. Those were tears of joy. I was just happy they got together. You've grown so much. I haven't seen The Notebook. I hear it's pretty sad. I don't know if they get together or not. I, I, I don't know. You correct me in the comments if you want. Uh, my, my vested interest in the notebook is very low, so I'm happy to be wrong about that. Anyway, blah, 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 blah. Man. What were we talking about before? Board games? Oh, this is... Uh, ooh. <laughs> so these screens are supposed to be one on top of the other, uh, but we just got... Uh, we just upgraded nurses, man. I'm Angie Thompson, the new nurse. I'll be starting here tomorrow. Yeah, you will. She looks... She honestly looks like she's, like, fresh out of high school. 21. Yeah, right. Hospital's newest employee. Angie is part German, born into a very well-educated family. She also has an international nursing license. Is Mary Fulton here? And she's going to go over the protocols. All right, well... Like, she literally looks like she's, like, 12. Just saying. Uh, but we were talking about board games. Or, like, not even board games. Like, I don't know if you consider Operation a board game. Or Hungry Hungry Hippos. It was, like, an action game when we were kids. It was basically, like, 
the 1980s version of a very simple video game. Because I feel like kids these days wouldn't really play with Hungry Hungry Hippos. Like, there's not enough of a game there. Even when we were kids, it only entertained us for a few minutes. Like, honestly, I don't know how we stayed entertained as kids. We stayed entertained for days at a time. I guess we just used our imaginations. Which, I mean, okay, it sounds ridiculous that, <laughs> that I couldn't figure that out. I don't know, I guess... Uh, as you, as an adult, it's sort of like, if you don't have work or TV to watch, it's like, what do you do with your time, right? As kids, you just, you played. You just played. Played and played. We'd go outside into the backyard with nothing to do, run around trees, making up games, coming up with stories. We just played. It was, it was a dream world of imagination, being a kid. Um, anyway, we're skipping a lot of the story here. Um, okay, here's my new plan. Wait, who's that weird guy? We should see see what he's saying. I've been doing concerts for seven years while working part-time. If you're a doctor, your priorities are wrong. Because unless those are medical concerts where you operate in front of a crowd, you are... Looks like you're burning the candle at both ends. He looks disheveled like he is working too hard. Also, I wonder if later on we get to, like, explore different areas and go to, like, different parts of Angeles Bays here. Or Angeles... Um, or if we get to go to different countries, that'd be cool. I wonder why they just didn't say Los Angeles. I, I, is Angeles Bay a real place? Oh, why didn't you just tell them everything would be fine? She's mad at us. We're not a very, we're not very good at the ladies, guys. We, we, you know what? We get C's in our medical reviews, in our procedures. We get C's when it comes to hitting on our female assistants, which we probably just shouldn't do. We, you know, maybe, maybe she's got a husband too. I mean, can't presume. Uh, and I should really be focusing on the patient here, not, uh, not scamming on, uh, the females I work with. Anyway, polyp clusters confirmed in the trachea due to internal hemorrhaging. A laser? Finally, they're giving us access to the laser. I don't need to know anymore. I'm ready to go. Let me get the laser. I just want to use the laser on his neck. I'll cut out any tubers I find and anything else. Give me the laser. Give me the laser. Give me the laser. Come on. I'm so ready. Give me this laser. Let's just cut this guy open. We got a laser. All right, I am, I'm ready for this. Let's do it. <laughs> I'm rushing through this. Give me the laser. Uh, the outer membrane of the trachea started to hemorrhage. Yes, 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 Where's the laser? That should be the focal point. Okay, let's laze it. Uh, it's hard to see the effective area magnified. No, we need the laser. The magnifying glass, fine. Here. Quickly draw a small circle. There you go. We succeeded in magnification. Good. Where's the laser? Once you finish working on the problem area, draw another small circle. Keep the blah, 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 blah. First, we need to drain the blood. Can we just go right to the laser? Is this it? Nee, 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 nee. Just <laughs> I just wanted to see the fine. Okay. Let's just drain the blood. Drain it all up. Okay, now there's no way we can exercise them. They're too small to use the laser. Select the laser so we can burn off the polyps. Yes. Laser will continue burn until you lift it away. Okay. I'm ready. By applying it for too long, you may cause additional bleeding. Well, that's the cost of doing business, I would say. Please be careful to apply, precisely apply the laser. Okay. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, we, uh, we uh, lazed him a little too much. Okay, let's go ahead here. Blah, blah, blah. Suck up the blood. And then we're going to laze some more. All right, on to the laser. Medical laser, guys. Okay, I think we got everything. This guy, we're just like, he's, he's going to die from loss of blood here. Okay. Now, um, my guess is gel. And then zoom in. Nope, zoom in. Uh, stay calm. If you're careful, everything should be fine. Uh oh. Honestly, I wasn't paying attention to what we do after we use the laser. So, what do we do now? How about we just do this? We, we must be able to burn through the blood there. Is this doing anything? Uh oh. Uh. Huh, I can't figure out what to do. Just like rub this guy. Nothing. That did nothing. Just injecting random stuff into his spine. That is doing nothing. He uh, just cut it off. 
Ah, uh, there we go. That's what I was supposed to do. I was gonna say, I, I, I was trying everything. I couldn't figure out what to do. All the polyps have been removed. It could have gone better. Uh, that is an understatement. I got very confused for a little while. Though. She's mad at me. Look at her face. Uh, another section of the membrane is starting to hemorrhage. Uh-oh. Draw a circle to, to cease magnification. Whoop. Oh, there's the, uh, the other spot. Okay, I can do this. Circle in. Okay. You don't like those circles? Okay, we're gonna suck out the blood. Laser off the polyps. And then... And laser off the polyps, and then we'll have to... Do this. There we go. Get the blood. Get the blood, there we go. Laser the polyps. Boom. Ah, oh, come on! <laughs> They're in there! <laughs> okay. Get the blood. Get the blood. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we got them. We got this one. Okay. Good. Ah, uh, there's more. Uh oh. We are running out of time as well. So what happens when you run out of time? The vitals are going down. What? Oh, God, look at all the polyps. Uh-oh. Burn, 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 burn. Okay, I might have I might have screwed this guy over. He might he might die in the operating table. Zero vitals. Oh, the operation was a failure. Uh-oh. Uh, let me handle this, Derek. I think we might have killed someone. Yeah, we were... We took a lonesome walk on a city street because we might have just killed a patient. Well, um, I can say that uh, I, I didn't want to go too far into this game. Um, we'll go ahead and retry here while I sort of wrap up here. Um, I didn't want to go too far into this game because basically once you sort of see a couple operations, they just sort of start to get more and more complicated. Um, and so as far as um, Trauma Center Under the Knife goes for today, I feel like we have seen a good portion of the game. So um, we should probably start wrapping this up. So as far as this game goes, you know, this is one of the games in the book, 1001 Video Games You Must Play Before You Die. And what I will say about it is I think it is actually a very interesting touchscreen game. It's one of the few games that I could see um, that has a real reason to be on a touchscreen. Oftentimes for games that are on touchscreens, you know, like a platformer or something, they control way better when you just have a controller. So they shouldn't be a touchscreen game. Um, but this game actually couldn't exist with the controller. So it is an example of a game that I think would make a very good tablet game that, um, you know, just, just yeah, like seems like a reasonable touchscreen game. Uh, seems like it would be like a, a nice change of pace from a typical sort of uh, console game for your DS. So as far as like a game that is worth trying, Actually, like, yeah, it's, it's kind of interesting. I don't know. I, I like, I wouldn't dismiss it out of hand, even though this would kind of, you know, I mean, it's just a different kind of game than like a typical action or adventure game. So, um, yeah, I wouldn't dismiss this out of hand. It's an interesting idea for a game. Definitely kind of cool. And for those people who like, you know, medicine and medical simulators, it might be one of the only games directly made for them. So, um, yeah, cool idea for a game. Now, interestingly enough, um, the next game that we check out is going to be related to this game. I'm not going to give too much away, um, but I'm going to have some other thoughts. So one of the other reasons I didn't want to go too far, spend too much time on this game today, is we're kind of going to see this gameplay again in just a couple days. So I don't want you guys to get too sick of this. So today, we're going to end our, uh, our Let's Play of Trauma Center Under the Knife, and we'll ultimately say, eh, it's an interesting game. It's an interesting, unique game. I understand why it's in the book. Um, I don't know if I would necessarily say it's a must-play, but it definitely is like a game for people who are more medically minded. Um, it could be like a fun game for them. So yeah, those are my thoughts. Um, what do you guys think of uh, Trauma Center Under the Knife here? Do you think it's sort of like a fun um, doctor simulator anime style game? Um, or is it the kind of game that like you're not super interested in? Let me know in the comments down below. And especially if you played this game and you have like fun memories or like cool tips for people, feel free to share those below too, because that always helps um, other people who are interested in the game might check it out and you could uh, sort of guide them um, in things that they might want to try. Um, but whatever you think of the game, hopefully you've enjoyed checking it out with me. Hopefully I've entertained you guys. If I have, go ahead, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to tune back in in a couple days to kind of see the sequel to this episode and see where we go from here. 
So until next time, guys, I'm Gaming J. I am not a medical professional. Never trust me uh, to perform surgery on you. And if somebody tries to get me to perform surgery on you, um, run for your lives. Um, and that's the best way to take care of yourselves. And otherwise, peace. All right, we got this. Oh, oh! <laughs> I yanked it out and jabbed it right back into his arm. I am not a doctor that you would want to have, let me tell you that.